Hey everyone, uh, I need to talk to you about something that is happening in the United States that could massively impact Nintendo Switch and other video game platforms as well, but we're going to focus on Nintendo here. And this is a little bit, well not a little bit, it's actually extremely political and I, this isn't, I'm not going to give any political stances one way or another. I'm just going to state what's happening and I really want to implore all of you guys to not dive into politics down in the comment section. We do not uh, talk about politics and religion or stuff related to that uh, at all on this channel for very specific reasons because I don't want people to be arguing over their personal beliefs that aren't video game like related. So you could talk about what where this subject is, uh, but keep it related to this and not all the extracurriculars around it. So why am I putting in this preface? What are we talking about? Well, Donald Trump, President of the United States, is looking to impose a 25% tariff on goods coming from China. They've already increased it for other goods coming from China, but now they're looking to increase it for all of the rest of the goods coming from China. And the Nintendo Switch itself is built, assembled, and shipped from China. China. This could mean, potentially, we don't know that it will be this, but it could mean a 25% price hike of the Nintendo Switch. And this price hike would go in effect on July 10th. That means the Nintendo Switch could cost $75 more than it does now. So moving from $300 to $375. Yeah, it's a little ouch on the pocketbooks there. Now the games themselves are not affected as those are manufactured and produced in Japan and then shipped out worldwide and the, this tariff only applies to China. Uh, so this is a very specific thing to the actual Switch console. It also affects phones and other systems that are also built in China. Now the bigger deal out of this of course is that it's not being implemented right now. The 25% tariff is actually being voted on on June 24th. So you'll be able to still buy Switches at their normal price for the next month or two. But again, July 10th, if it passes on the 24th, is when this could go into effect. It might not go into effect right away. That's just the soonest possible date. And this is kind of like my fair warning to you guys out there that if you don't own a Switch and you're planning to buy a Switch, uh, maybe waiting for the Mini, maybe waiting for the Pro might not be the best decision financially if we're talking about a 25% price hike. I mean, if the OG Switch is going to end up being $375, what's a $400 Switch Pro going to end up being? Over $500? It, it's going to be a little insane for a while uh, while the current president and uh, political parties in charge are pushing for stronger tariffs. Again, there is a lot of political background behind why this is happening and what China is also kind of imposed on the U.S. and the U.S. firing back um, we're not here to dive into all of those particulars all I know is finally something in my life is actually going to be massively impacted by this and that is the Nintendo Switch now I happen to already own a Nintendo Switch system although I am looking at getting a second one and I have to say um, with the current uh, worry about that tariff I might be looking to buy that second one before the end of June at this point uh, of course, we could wait and see, obviously, until June 24th and see if this tariff ends up going into effect. But I needed to warn all you guys out there in the United States that this is the thing that's happening. The Nintendo Switch is likely going to increase in price. And I don't want any of you guys being caught off guard by this if you live in the U.S. Now, you could probably go to other countries. Heck, maybe go to Canada. It might end up being cheaper in Canada, believe it or not. So uh, this is just something to keep in mind. Otherwise, I want to thank all you guys for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Dance from Nintendo Prime. And despite all of this, we are still giving away a Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate bundle through the Gleam.io link down in the description, regardless of if that's 75%. Uh, that 25% increase hits that bundle for me too. I, I guess I'll end up paying even more for it, but it is what it is. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are amazing. Drop a like on this video, subscribe for more content, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.